I saw something just before we came on the air that has got me all kinds of ticked off. Have you seen the latest from ESP, ESPN Milwaukee? What some local hosts in Green Bay are saying about the 49ers? No, tell me. Oh, okay, good. I'm glad you haven't seen it. I will play it for everybody. Then we, I'll react. You can react. And I'm sure the chat is going to have plenty to react to. Before I get to that, however, I just want to give a little love to our YouTube channel partners, Community Tree Service, LLC. We are so pleased and privileged to have them on board. If you have a yard, they will do everything they can to get this yard looking as good as it could possibly look. And as somebody that had now has a yard, I got to tell you, it means way more to me than I ever thought it would. Like, I am grass dad guy. Well, Community Tree Service can hook you up. They do tree trimming, land clearing, hazard tree removal, home fire hardening, debris removal from the Central Coast up to the Bay Area. And estimates are free. So give them a call, 831-763-2391. Email estimating at cts831.com or visit their website at communitytree.com to schedule your appointment. Tell them you heard about them from us. You get $200 off of your quote. If you root for somebody else, they're going to charge you more. So just keep that under your hat. Community Tree Service is licensed by the California State License Board. License number 1100816. All right, Grant. ESP right, Milwaukee. This is where this video comes from. I just saw it before we hit record. And uh, I got to tell you, I wasn't too pleased. So I'm going to try to throw it up here, and hopefully this will work. Here is what they said the Packers need to do on ESPN Milwaukee. Let me know if you can hear this. But, Gabe, I go back, and it's little things like this. And the reason we won in 95 when no one gave us a chance in San Francisco is because we intimidated them. I mean, if you – and I always revert to Wayne Simmons. Wayne Simmons kicked the crap out of Brent Jones. And then it got contagious, and then it carried over. That's why – you guys are going to think I'm crazy. Well, we already thought uh, that, so go ahead. A 15-yard penalty – and I don't condone this, but I kind of do in the playoffs. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> Just stop. Don't for, go there. On Brock Purdy is not a bad thing as long as it's worth it. I, I'm just saying, this is the mindset you <laughs> when it's battle. And it's it's kind of like the reverse of hockey. What don't they do in hockey in the playoffs, Joshy? Shave their beards? That and one other thing. They don't fight. They don't fight. <laughs> they don't fight. Right? This is kind of like sometimes a 15 yard penalty is worth it early in the game if you knock the living crap out of the guy. And then he kind of like sticking your helmet in the ribs of Nick Bosa is like, ah, but that I'm hearing ghosts. Someone stopped this guy. He really thought that was smart. Hmm. People say the stupidest things. I'm sorry. So, just to be clear, the late hit on Brock Purdy is worth it as long as you hurt him enough. Is exactly what he just said. That is such a like Cobra Kai mentality. You know what I mean? <laughs> right. We're not quite good enough to pull this one off. All right. He's a little bit better than us. Go cheat. Like, don't. That was terrible. I hate. Yeah. Someone should have cut him off. Like, no, this is ter this is a terrible. They tried. Thing. They this tried to, to save him from himself. And I'll just say this. It made me think of that, that line from, uh, I think it was the Dark Knight, where the guy goes into... Uh, he goes into Morgan Freeman's office and he says, Bruce Wayne is Batman. I know it. I want a million dollars every year for the rest of my life. Morgan Freeman looks at him and he's like, so you think that your boss, one of the yeah. wealthiest, most powerful men in the world, is secretly a vigilante who spends his nights beating criminals to a pulp with his bare hands. And your plan is to blackmail this person? Like, you right. think the way to beat the 49ers is to get physical with them. Really? Right. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it's football. You're allowed to get physical. You're supposed to. Like what he said at the beginning about how the Packers intimidated the Niners in the 90s. I was there. I remember that. There, that was definitely a big part of it. Gilbert Brown, that those teams were ferocious in Green Bay. That's not this team. That, that has nothing to do with it. And that was a whole different era of football. Uh, so, I don't know. I think that was, like, pretty much useless football commentary. Sorry to whoever said that. But um, the, cow, the the Packers can win this game. But that's they're not going to be they're not going to do it by illegally roughing up Brock Purdy in the first quarter. That's not the game plan. And if it were, if that leaked out that a coach said that, he'd be suspended for a freaking year. It's just such a silly thing to say. 
Worse than I, Steelers. I think it's hilarious. Like, yes, please try to out physical the 49ers. Like, how many teams have we seen do that? Maybe one in the Ravens this year. Well, you got to try. You can't just concede that, but it, it, that doesn't mean like committing 15 yard penalties with the exception of Dre Greenlaw. That is not how the Niners are physical. It's just not. Hey, Dre hasn't done anything crazy in a long time. Hey, shout out Dre Greenlaw. I really like Dre Greenlaw. I, I, that was a good natured ribbing right there. He knows. <laughs> yeah, you should say that unless because <laughs> you'll get one of those hits one of these days. No, All I right. just, you're not going to do it. And like, if you try, it's going to come like, please feel free. Feel free. Debo. And Trent Williams and Bosa and Warner and Dre Greenlaw, you and Kittle, you want to out physical those guys? Go ahead and try. This to me, like, I, I, I'm not a fan. And to me, I think it's hard to be a fan and an analyst at the same time. Because here's where this guy's just being a fan he's advocating for an illegal hit on Brock Purdy. What if the Niners did that to Jordan Love? What would this guy say? That's a good point. And like, what would he say? He tried He'd be up in arms. He'd be up in freaking R. How can the NFL? Oh, this guy's. Blah, blah, blah. It's like, okay, well, you're just a fan of the Packers. So well, you don't actually have like a moral leg to stand on here. This isn't an actual suggestion. You just want the Packers to win by any means necessary. Like, why are you even. Okay, like a lot of fans want that. Like, are they given a platform to say it? ESPN Milwaukee hit Brock pretty late? Dude. They tweeted it out. Dude, That's how I found he it. Should, he should apologize for that. Because, again, I'm telling you, if the Niners did that to Jordan Love, this will be the first guy complaining about it. And also the whole, oh, I don't condone it, but I kind of do in the playoffs. <laughs> That's like when you go to your girl and you're like, hey, you know, what if, uh, you know, the three of us, uh, I'm just kidding, haha, <laughs> unless you're serious. Like, that's what that this is. It just feels like really small market show that didn't doesn't expect many people to listen to them. And then they say something outrageous and it gets picked up. People are like, excuse me? What? Who are you? And why'd you say that? What? This is going to be a great game on Saturday. This is what exactly what they don't need. Don't knock out Jordan Love or Brock Purdy illegally in the first quarter. Can we get a good game, please? I'd like that. I wouldn't. I want a 50-point 49ers blowout. Forget good game. And I think they're going to get it. I think the 49ers are going to go nuts on the Green Bay Packers because I think we're going to see playoff Christian McCaffrey. I think people forget, like, this dude is – I mean, Kyle talks about all the time how he is like a psycho, how he is all about football. And I remember in that Eagles game in the NFC Championship last year, Grant, when nothing was going right for the 49ers and Brock was out and we're like, oh, my God, what are we going to do? And all of a sudden, Christian McCaffrey breaks like six tackles and runs for a touchdown. And you're like, oh, my God, we got a, a chance in this thing. And now there's no worry about like overusing him, right? It's not like, oh my God, we got to save Christian McCaffrey. Like, forget that, man. We got three more games the rest of the season. Give it to Christian McCaffrey 80 times if necessary. Yeah, Niners have a great offense. Uh, I think they should be able to score 30 points on Green Bay. They should be able to do that. The issue is Green Bay's offense. It's really good, too. Uh, maybe they don't have the names that the Niners, they don't have the names the Niners have, but. Lately, their quarterback has been playing like just as efficiently as Brock Purdy, and his running back is fresh and explosive. Aaron Jones is really good. Not as good as Christian McCaffrey, but, I mean, you could be looking at the two best quarterbacks in the NFC left and the two best running backs in the NFC who are left. I, I think this is going to be a really interesting matchup of offenses. The Niners' defense is really good, but they got, I mean, they got eviscerated a few times this year. Once by Baltimore and once by Cincinnati. And both of those teams had elite quarterbacks with, you know, weapons in a running game. That's kind of what Green Bay has right now. You might not look at Jordan Love as an elite quarterback, and I guess he'll have to prove it. But his first playoff game was uh, a step in the right direction. And over the last 10 games, he's thrown 23 touchdowns and three picks. He's playing like an elite quarterback. We'll see if he can keep it going, but he can move. He can get out of the pocket. He can make any throw. They're balanced. This could be a high-scoring game. Could be exciting. 